Atam. Rem going all the way back to the Mexico Major in 2021, Tim, when we think about it, we mm -hmm. and you remember that game. Anaton drop shotting Alamau and the rest of the team. It was going to continue moving, but no, catches him as he comes around the corner, finds that kill. Lobbing, however, with one of his own onto Suzuki, and that leaves us now in A4 versus 3. Lobbing just going to hold that angle for the time being out towards, but they've been able, Black Ray, to find his way back into sight up those stairs, and he in turn is on the sort of counter watch now, waiting for Lobbing to step out. Out. Oopsie daisy, got the side angle coming in there from inside of office that they weren't quite aware of. Arcoli stepping across looking for a second, but not to be found. You just hear lob in, lob in one of those candelas and try and get things moving. It's Maya to strike first though, bringing down Black Ray. Instantly response, uh, responded to though by Suzushi and Ayagata to bring down Dash as well. Good start. Where are they going to execute? Where are they going to plant at the minute? Matt struggles to tell you where that choice is going to come. Arcoli manages to find dots and that leaves us now in a 3v2. Cyclops with 30 seconds left to go. They can hold on. They can just start holding angle. Yokai's at the minute that seems to be having a chase in shadows. And Iagate is going to find himself a freebie as well. Not dealt with at all around Cash. And finally, last one will bring him. Destined, maybe trying to get that yellow wall open. I like to see it. It hasn't worked out. That Selma device has either been tricked or shot off the wall. So they need to go back to the drawing board. Oh, now they're screwed because they've lost the Thatcher and the Thermite. Sure, yep. they've got a wall opened up. But yellow is going to stay firmly locked up, as is the barrel side of in. things too. They are inside the site here as well. And there's an easy shot coming out. For Maya, as one was already down. Going to try and make a plant happen, I imagine, here with the shield in hand as well. Got to be really careful about the threat coming in from Split at the same time as Black Ray brings down Dash. It looks so good for Lost One at first, but now they're down a man. I really think he players following it. That's the first time. Anaton's gone in there now um, on the glass. So they've got themselves established in there. Two kills come in for Sack. I know he was quite confident coming into SI, but I've said it a couple of times. So far, humbled by the Japanese side. Are you to find in Maya as well? Five versus three now, and especially as Dots falls as well, it's all up to Dash. He was on the arcade stairs, so he can get back in there. Um, but even Rise has dipped away now. It looks like Cyclops, are, yeah, Cyclops are able to start moving in. Rise is thinking about going out of the window here, but it's going to be too late. The diffuser's going down. He knows there's somebody coming towards Barrels, manages to find him, but Arcully onto Dash leaves Rise with it all to do. Beautiful headshot with the SMG 11, but now he sees. Ensures Cyclops retain that numbers advantage with a kill onto Dash, who really since the first half hasn't been all that present it feels great c4 from lobbing again once again lobbing it straight over so worried about what's going on behind them here as well you've got the longer angle shots and our colliers about to praise as being so good on the entry four and one so far is shut down more candela's rain on through as the shotgun comes out from rise to bring us down to a temporary three versus three as our Cully is down on the deck what can cyclops make work the answer is a kill onto rise into a three versus two with the plant going down black ray is going to stick this almost certain dash is very much like penned in here he can't really get any support as Cyclops are all over this room like ants over trash. They're looking to see what they can pick up, but Lobbin finds Arcully. That's another big, completely change how this round is going to play out here. Sure, there's a smoke coming in, but they're going to have to keep a barricade going down as well. They've got Yokai ready and waiting, and Iagator, despite being flash, manages to find out today. This does mean more than maybe you think you might know. Lobbin finds one, instantly traded back out, though again, maybe not the strongest start that he was looking for, but has warmed into it as it's gone along, as Dash is there ready for a trade. Rise into a second as only two left. Black Ray and Anaton, two of the OGs, have got it all to do against four members and they already bring down one. Three versus two now. Lost one over time. Um, but ultimately you just never can tell against Cyclops exactly what they're going to bring. Shout out as well to the B-Stream chat. I know you guys are having a lot of fun. B-Stream I think is almost one of the places to be during the sixth invitation. It's where the real, the diehards go. It's where there's a lot of fun to be had inside so the first 60 seconds. It's more about getting to the building on a map like Cafe and looking to work your way forwards. Rise with the shotgun ready and waiting as grenades start raining all around. It's got to be a little bit mindful of that one. Still, it's kills raining over towards the side of Cyclops. Two coming down pretty easy. Maya and Lobbit, both gone. A good, good start for Cycle. Another entry kill goes to Arcully, taking down Dash this time, but Dots is there to get that trade. Four versus four, a minute left to go, and Cyclops, it's time to get moving. Oh, Black Ray. I mean, there's a smoke coming in and out as well that they aren't going to be able to make use of because it's been caught out. The glass uh, always a little bit of a nightmare on Lost One, certainly finding that out firsthand at the minute. Maya um, just playing underneath that skylight in the one of the default plant spots at the moment. Oh, Cully able to find a nade kill onto Dash. Been very impressed with our Cully so far today, um, putting up fantastic numbers. Smokes, Anaton working with the scope of glass that will allow him to see those heat signatures through the smoke for the small time. Do they 
know about Arcoli inside a utility. I bloody well hope so. Anderson getting a flash of yellow, but not finding his man. And Suzu, she finds one. Arcoli another. It looks like Cyclops is still going to keep this train moving on fours as we're up to a 4v2. Arcoli continuing to fight other than the Nitro, so can't offer too much value from underneath. He's going to need to pretty much get himself straight back up white stairs. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> white stairs. Is he aware of Black Rear's position? Black Rear gets aggressive and finds a beautiful kill. Obviously unaware of him in utility. And that level shots down by the pillar. Manages to sidestep a nade there as Anaton finds a kill onto Dots. Black Rear gets the kill onto Dash as well. And as I said, lost one. I think they know which way this is going. I agree to get balcony. You may be looking at that and wondering exactly why that's been done. Black Rear's going to pick up Dash um, with a, a nice peak there to begin things. And what a way for Cyclops to start. But um, back to my point about the barbed wire there. They may not have noticed. But not forgetting that Lost One will have put a lot of their attention instead looking towards the other side of the map. Dash is just trying to hold the top of East stairs and he's going to get his man. He didn't stand up and he found him. Picking up Dash and liberating East stairs. Yep, too easy for him to walk in there. He knows that there's one inside a fountain as well. Lobbin's just going to be encouraged <laughs> out into the open. And Black Ray is there ready to take the shot. But Maya once again in position. Maya having a great game so far for loss one here on border. Three versus three Cyclops. We then get another kill and that leaves us now in a five versus three. Here comes Meyer as well, stepping around for the one versus one and wins it out against Anderson, taking that glass offline. Three versus three with 90 seconds to play. A little bit better, the crew just turned out to be absolutely nothing. Dash looks like he's ready to drop through this hatch as well when the going gets hot. Maya manages, I wondered just how we'd sort of not heard any shots following up there, but Maya ultimately able to dance around and get the kill onto Anaton, but Ayagator and Black Ray find two of their own, oh and boy. once again, Lost One find themselves in a man advantage, three versus two, but Cyclops, they want back out the window and trying to get his teammate up, but no, he's gone down for it as well. It's a 2v3. The number of times we have seen this for Cyclops against Lost One is absolutely ludicrous. Arkley makes it two versus two. Can Cyclops hold on and get this over the finish line? 45 seconds left to go. There is the option potentially if Cyclops think they can get themselves out of the building. Anathan could. The 45 seconds remaining again. It feels like Lost One have sort of stalled a little bit here as well. Unsure how to proceed. Art Gully bringing down Meyer. A second one coming out, but it's trades galore as Dot. Over here, Meyer manages to find him eventually for the trade, but the damage could largely be done. It's three versus four. Anathan taking a ton of damage though. Will be down, but not out as well. Effectively, three as they can. Dot's able to take down Suzuki. Anaton taking damage as well. Just opens up the wall and able him to fight back a little bit better. But Lobby, he manages nice. to find Arcully. Anaton doing fantastically well through that hole he opened up. But Dash, he's just waiting for his opportunity. He knows that Anaton is likely to step across here. And when he does, it's going to be good. There, right, there you go. Beautiful headshot. Barely saw more than a couple of pixels, but still able to find his man. Oh, it's all up to Ayagir to, to keep Cyclops in this unlikely at this point though he's pinned in the corner here as well they didn't even get the cross in time